this is David with David's Tutorials and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install and use Google Drive on your computer. As you can see I'm starting here on a browser home page and it's tuned into Google but you can use any search engine you want and in another window I have it open to my D Drive. Now, my setup is different than many people's in that on my computer, I have a C drive on which I install all programs and applications and a D drive where I keep all my data. This is important because it's going to show you how you can put your Google Drive synchronization folder in a different location than the default location. You can see I already have a Google Drive folder on my data drive. This is because I have synchronized to my Google Drive before and I want to resynchronize to that same folder. That's the Google Drive folder, but you can put your Google Drive folder anywhere you want. If you have your data on your C drive, as I happen to have on a different computer in my house, you can just use the default location that Google Drive sets up when it installs. Let's go back to the search engine. On the search engine, I'm going to type in Google Drive Download. Boom. And here we come up to the Google Drive Download, and we can see the Google logo here, and it says Google.com Drive Download. But what I want to do is hover my mouse cursor over this link and look down in the lower left-hand corner of this browser, and you will see the actual URL you'll be taken to, and I can see that it truly is Google.com Drive Download. The reason I want to do this is because there are too many websites out there that will put out something that says download Google Drive and when you do this and look down in that bottom left hand corner, you'll see a totally different URL. This is a red flag and an indication that that link is going to take you to a malware website and you're going to get some kind of infection on your computer. So always check this before you click a link on a search engine. Here we go, clicking on Google Drive, and it lets you access and synchronize your files anywhere. I'm going to use personal for my backup and sync because basically this is free and I have a personal Google account. If you do not have a Google account, you will need to set one up before you install Google Drive on your computer, and I'm going to let you figure that out yourself, or else I can put out a tutorial on this later on. Just let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that. I'm going to download Google Drive. Always read anything before you agree and download. Read it all. In this case, they have terms of service, which if I hadn't read them before, I would read them now, and I would read the Google Apps Terms of Service, which I have read, and if I had not, I would read them now. And when I click on that button, it gives me a download dialog, which I want to save the file. Now, I keep my downloads in a particular folder on my hard drive, not my downloads folder. You can see here I have a Google Drive folder, and that's where I'm going to keep it. Click on Save, and it will put it in that folder. On Firefox, we can click on the download link in the upper right hand corner and double click on that and it will go ahead and run that program. If you're using another browser, there is another indication that you have downloaded something. For example, on Chrome, it'll be in your bottom bar and just double click it and it will run it. I'm going to run it right now and I will OK the user account control on Windows 10. Yes, I trust something from Google. It is downloading. Download complete. Thank you very much. It's installing. It always installs in a default location on your root drive, which on a PC is a C drive. Installation is complete and the default location is okay with me. I'm going to click close. The next thing I need to do is to open Google Drive and make sure all of my settings are correct. It automatically opened and it now has get started. I'm going to get started. It wants me to sign in, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put in my Google account information. I'm going to blur this out just because you don't need to know my login information. And if you have already set it up for two-step identification, you will get a verification code from the Google Authenticator app on your smartphone.
Okay, once you put in your authenticator code from your Google Authenticator app, if you have two-step verification set up, the next step is to choose the folders from your computer to continuously back up to Google Drive. You want to set it up so there is one main folder on your computer to continuously back up to Google Drive. I've got it. Choose the folders to continuously back up to Google Drive. I do not want to back up my desktop, my documents, or my pictures folder because I really don't use those. I'm going to choose a folder, and as we saw earlier, that folder is on my D drive. Come down, get the D drive, and find the Google Drive folder. I'm going to select that folder, and I don't want to upload it. I want to synchronize it. Do I want to upload the folder to Google Drive on the web? I'm going to click Cancel. And currently it is backing up all files and folders. Do I want my photo and video upload size to be high quality, which is free unlimited storage, or original quality, which is full resolution? Now, if I only wanted to keep snapshots and family pictures that I did not want to blow up large, I would probably pick the free unlimited storage. However, because I put videos on here, and some of these videos are 4K, I want to keep this original. I do not want to upload photos and videos to Google Photos right now because I just don't use that. You may want to use it yourself. Let's go ahead and click Next. Got it. Sync my drive to this computer, and the folder location is not going to be on my C drive. So here I'm going to change that, and I'm going to go over to this PC. I'm going to go to D drive, and I'm going to select Google Drive. Click Select Folder. Merge with existing Google Drive folder. Continuing will merge the existing content in Google Drive with your file stored at drive.google.com. This is what I want to do because I have folders on my computer that I want to keep in effect and I want to get the latest version of those. If you don't want to merge content, create a new folder and I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and continue. Sync everything in my drive. I have 635 megabytes synchronized. And I'm going to synchronize everything at this point. I'm going to go ahead and start. And that's basically all there is to it. Off the screen here, I now have a notice from Google Drive in the lower right-hand corner of my screen that Backup and Sync is all set. It says click the Backup and Sync icon to see the menu. Check the status of your files or update your preferences. And a button says Got It. So I'm going to say Got It. Once you have Google Drive installed, a quick way to get to it in Windows Explorer is to go to your Quick Access Toolbar. If you've installed it recently, it should appear there and click on the pinned icon and it will pin that to your Quick Access Toolbar. You can right click on Google Drive and it will say whether it is pinned or unpinned. If it's pinned, it'll tell you to unpin it. If it's unpinned, it will tell you to pin it. So you want it pinned if you want to get to it quickly and you click on it and it will give you your Google Drive folders that are on your computer right here. That pretty much takes care of it for installing Google Drive on your computer. Stay tuned in future videos. I'm going to compare various cloud drive platforms and tell you the various benefits and drawbacks I have found for each one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It'll sure help us with the Google robots to let them know that you thought it was helpful. And if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and we'll certainly notify you whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.